Jackson. Yeah, he is special. And you know, Bill, there's something else special here. Hey, who's this big fella? Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt hey, here. Good to see you, Phil. Good to see you, man. You betcha. Sorry, man. I was trying to knock on a door back there, but you don't have a door. <laughs> knock it down. Knock it down. Hey, uh, Coach, yes. for your viewers out there who don't know, uh, I'm David Baker, president of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And on behalf of all of those of us who love this game and the Pro Football Hall of Fame, it is my great this privilege. This isn't right that this is happening right now, but. Um, <laughs> okay, David. never no, mind. No, please come back. <laughs> come, back. come back here, David. Oh. Coach, I want to thank you for all you've done for the game, for all you're going to do for the game. Mm. And I want to welcome you to Canton, Ohio, <laughs> wow. where your bronze <laughs> hey! your legacy. Hey! Is How about that, Bill? Congratulations. Uh, guys, <laughs> folks, as you see him hugging his wife, V, his daughter, Megan, as tearful as Bill oh, is. Wow. Uh, wow. Hey, check, Mr. Baker, good Best to see you again. Best time you ever, buddy. That's really good. Outstanding. Hey, folks, keep this in mind. That's Out of 29,000 people who played the game, coached the game, or contributed to the game, Bill Cowher is down to 327th one in the Hall of Fame, 182nd living one, coach speech. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You know, I just tell him, V, I says, I've come to grips. I'm okay. Um, if it doesn't happen, um, I've been so blessed. And I would just say this, for those eight candidates, every one of you deserve to be there. Mm -hmm. um, football is a total team sport. Um, I had some great players, some great coaches, the best organization in football. Um, I've lived a blessed life. I've come to the best network on TV. It's a family here like it was a family that we had there. And to have to give back to something, to the game of football, it's been a part of my life. The virtues that it teaches you, the morals that you have the obligation to move on, the platforms that we have. <clears throat> um, you know, I'm a blessed man. Bill, I, I'm, Bill. Yeah, I've lost weight. Bill. This is, this is uh, not supposed to be like this. Uh, <laughs> I don't Why know. I, 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 I just, I just, I, I don't think it's hit me yet. And, yeah. um, like I said, I'm, uh, mm. I don't know. Your guy, Pat Kerwin, is over there like a proud dad. You, you know, know what I mean? Pat That's Kerwin, the question about it. And, uh, and thank you for everything that you did, honestly. Mm. And, you know, um, I mean, it's just been, you know, what can I wow. say? I mean, I just think about the players. I just talked to Rod Woodson last night. And, you know, and hopefully he can get back into coaching and talk to John Harbaugh, Andy Reid. I mean, my gosh, you're talking about a mentor, a guy that I think – we should be in the Hall of Fame, too. Absolutely. Just, he will be. You know, the game of football needs these men. Bill Belichick, what he stands for, Bill Belichick means a lot to me. I mean, I learned a lot from him. Mm -hmm. I still talk to him today. And, um, you know, and like I said before, I just think about the Pittsburgh franchise and Dan Rooney, when he hired me, took a chance for a 34-year-old kid um, from Crafton, <clears throat> Pennsylvania. And my first goal was just not to get fired from my 20th high school class reunion. <laughs> <laughs> And he's got volumes of books oh, in that library. Oh, oh. Me and Megan can attest to that. 